Hey guys, it's the Clumsy Geek, and yep, I'm going to play Ark Survival Evolved. I know I've been hyping all about Minecraft recently, but uh, I saw some videos of this and I decided let's go for it. And by the way, if you noticed, I have a new mic. I hope I sound better. Uh, let me know how I sound, if, it, if you have any suggestions on how my setup should be. Um, so let's get right into it. Okay, so I've been playing a bit, and um, but for this recording, I, I decided to um, reset everything. So this time, let's start a new game, and this will be all single player. So this will be like a, a castaway type of thing. If you if you watch that movie, so I will be having uh, some modifications with the default settings. Uh, for instance, I have um, nighttime speed all the way up here. This will make the night shorter. It will make days longer here. Um, the taming speed I've went I went and made it all the way up to maximum it's because I, based on what I experienced, it takes really long and I I think it's it gets kind of dragging. It's all the same anyway, mostly. So I put it at max, and I increased the harvest amount to 1.5. So now, but everything else is default. Okay, the damage, the level, experience, etc. Okay, so let's get into it. Now, this will probably prompt me to create a character. I will probably skip that part because it will get boring for you guys. So I will make... A character and uh, get back once we're in the game right see you soon so I decided to include this anyway so you can at least see the how the, what the options are when creating a character a survivor rather okay, so let's maybe tweak the skin color a bit make it a bit yellowish since I'm Asian so maybe a bit like this next size I reduced a bit and I, I don't know I might just fast forward this speed it up speed it up a bit just so you can see the progression of how the the character changes the how it looks okay so let's name him clumsy geek because I'm creative like that and from here let us start create new survivor Oh, I have to select the region as well. Now, when I was playing the first time, I was going to North Zone 2, I think. So this time, and they said that the North part was where the baddies were spawning. So where the violent uh, dinosaurs were. So I don't want to go there right now. Let's maybe pick something different for a change. So let's maybe pick uh, South south all right and here we are you have that weird device on your arm i think that's part of the storyline although there doesn't seem to be any story yet but, uh... so Alright, just checking something. Okay. So what do we have? You can see the indicators on the lower right side. That's the different indicators. Uh, the upper right, the topmost is the level, how close you are to leveling up. Below that is the weight, how much you're, you're carrying. The third is how thirsty you are. Fourth is how hungry you are. Fifth is stamina, so it gets reduced when you run or when you mine or do some stuff. Okay. And the last is the health. Okay, so I, I am seeing a couple of dinosaurs here already. But before we go hunting or anything, we should go and harvest some berries. And one quick tip that I can offer you is, um, normally you would go to the berry and you would 
uh, put your cursor here in the middle and then you would uh, interact with it to harvest it like that right but it's not really required that you put your cursor over it it just needs to be you just need to be within range so even if I'm here as long as I'm within this vicinity even if I face the opposite side and I try it I will still be able to get that okay so that's something that will prove very useful once you start harvesting lots of uh, um, stuff here okay so I'm getting a lot of fiber and uh, um, let's see okay. all right so I got a couple already but let's get a few more And later on, let's see what we can do with the time we have. Right now, we're going to fo focus on surviving. And uh, yeah, I'm punching trees. <laughs> because at first, I don't have any tools. Oh, and there's a flying bird there. I think that's a pterodactyl or something. But don't worry, it's not aggressive. It won't harm me. It won't harm me, rather. <laughs> Uh, okay. Alright, uh, what do I need? Let's see. So if I go to my inventory, and uh, why do I look a bit different from earlier? So let's look at craftables. And right now we can only craft two things. This will improve as we level up. So one of the most important tools, especially in the beginning, is this one. So let's craft that. Stone pick. And uh, let's put that in our quick item slots. So now we're here. We can start mining properly or rather harvesting. Now, even though this is a pick, we don't only use it for stone like other games. You can for sure use it in stone like this. But later on, we will get access to a different tool. And th that doesn't mean you completely ignore this um tool ready once you get access to that so both tools will still be useful oh, this is kind of a tough looking stone there we go broke so now i leveled up uh first thing i would increase is probably my health survivability is key okay now we have eight points and uh this is what i was talking about a hatchet so that one for sure is needed and maybe some shirt as well I don't know spear no I, I think we can manage with this uh, yeah let's start with that so let's see now I can craft a hatchet I can craft a shirt I can craft a torch that here shirt let's wear it there we go not so cold anymore and the torch all right now what I'm talking about is this we have access to a pick and a hatchet right if we go and use a pick on the on wood we will mostly get thatch yeah but if you use it if you use a hatchet on wood, you will get mostly wood. So these two tools have different uses. And for details, you can just look at the description. So you see, from rocks it gets flint. In here, from rocks it gets stone. And it's the same. So just play with that and see what is more appropriate for you. Now this is a dodo. And we will probably need some meat and hide, so let's go and kill this and get some hide from it. Right, now we have some hide. Where are you going, guy? Alright. What is that? Oh, it's a poop. <laughs> no, I don't want to pick it up. 
And in this game, you are constantly uh, pooping. So when you eat, um, well, even if you don't eat so much, you will poop just like a normal human being. And later on, you'll probably hear that. So <laughs> stay tuned for that. Or not. Okay, we have thatch. Um, and let's maybe eat up some berries here. Okay, this is a wild female parasaur. Um, and that's one of the earliest um, dinosaurs that we can tame. But let me think. We need something else before we do that taming. Maybe not. Maybe we can start taming now. Just get a few more. Yeah, perfect. Narco berries. Narco berries are essential when taming dinosaurs. I'll show you in a bit what I mean by that. Yeah, maybe that's enough. How much narco berries do we have? Five. I think that's enough since we have accelerated taming, taming rates anyway. Should be a bit e easier for us. Okay. Oops, sorry for that. It lags quite a bit from time to time. Not sure, maybe it's doing some world save or something. Uh, let's just kill this one as well. Maybe. Okay. No, this is level 6. I think that's too high for us. Level 1. Okay, this one I like. So let's punch this. So the key in taming dinosaurs is you have to knock them out. And to knock them out, you have, for now, you have to use your fists. Okay, there, perfect. Now it's asleep. Now the key here is once it's asleep, we have to constantly keep it sleeping. See the torpor level here? It will constantly go down. And the, the key there is you have to feed it narco berries. So if you look at it, it makes you sleepy when you eat it. So you, we force feed the parasaur with narco berries. So it sleeps more. So if I use one, it will increase. And that will keep it sedated. Now, to tame it, now let me close it. See, put food in inventory to tame. Now, the parasaur is a herbivore, so we have to transfer berries in its inventory and it will eat it. Okay, and I think depending on the dinosaur, they have some favorite berries. I'm not sure which one is this, but yeah, let me try this Medjo berry. And uh, let me put everything inside, just to be quick about it, yeah. And while he is uh, eating, let me gather some more herbs here. What is that? Oh no, I think there's an aggressive... No! Okay, we have to kill this. No, this is a raptor! Oh, come on. A raptor this early on? <laughs> come on, man. But the, the hard thing about that is it also killed the, the dino we were taming. This one. So let's, let's knock you out. There we go. Ah, perfect. Haha, -ha, you're sleeping now. Okay. So let me tame you instead. Okay. Ah, uh, I'm almost dead. The narco berries here. Now, ra raptors are carnivores, so we would need to put in meat here. Uh, let me just find... Where can I find some meat? Heal up, man. Heal up. 
Oh, there's my body. Perfect. Come on, you can do it. Let's get everything. Great. And wear that cloth shirt. Okay, perfect. Now, do I have some stem berries? I do have them. I think that's help a bit with the healing. So now at least I can run. And this time, let's put in some meat. I only have two meat. Okay, so I have to continue hunting. Um, okay, so let me get some meat. And okay, maybe I can show you first before I cut. So the key here is when you feed it meat, see, so it eats the meat there now, and the taming will increase. Now the key here is we have to find more meat. So let me just cut here, and I'll continue once we have more or less the raptor tamed. Okay, see you in a bit. Okay. Let's feed it. I don't know. Oh, I had tamed the raptor. Good, great. Okay, that is quick. Great. I've never had a raptor before in my first playthrough. Uh, I need Denver. Even though you're not the last dinosaur. So those who got the reference, guys, you're getting old like me. Great, man. Okay. So now you have meat. Oh, now you need meat, rather. Mm. Okay, let's go. Let's go do this. You're hungry, I know. Yeah, let's, let's find something. Come on, buddy. Let's just prey on some uh, unfortunate animals here. Aha! Okay. Denver, get him! Denver, get him! Denver! Get him. There you go. Eat it. Oh, you can eat it. Hmm. Why are you not eating it? Disable victim. Enable victim item collection. Do you want me to feed you? Okay, I'll feed you. There, okay. And now you can eat properly. <laughs> and how's your health? Perfect, alright. Not even a scratch. Uh huh. Okay. Get this one. Get this one, Denver. Get this one. Bam. Yeah. Eat it, eat it. No? Okay, fine. Hmm. How about this one? Yeah. Haha, <laughs> good job. I like this. We're a great team. Okay. And treats for you. Um, but what do I do here? Wait. So one one trick you can learn is when you transfer from inventory to from your inventory to the dinosaurs the spoil duration increases so this one for example spoils in six minutes if i transfer it, it comes 24 minutes so four times four times longer which is very very good so as a rule of thumb you can store everything in your dinosaur even though it won't even though it doesn't eat those stuff that's good because it will 
keep it for a longer time. Okay? So I guess that's it for this episode. Um, I'll go play around with Denver for quite a bit. And we'll get back in the next episode. See you guys. Bye for now. Oh, and if you liked the video, please uh, press like and subscribe to keep updated with new videos. Right? See you. Bye.